If you like the Infamous series, you may like the Double Cross RPG. The Infamous series is one which does some interesting stuff with powers and their origins. Rather than having powers fall into the typical superhero styles of Brick, Flyer, Speedster, Blaster, and so on, the powers are linked to different sources, like damage, like elements or sources of energy, such as electricity, or concepts such as visual images, or projections from television screen, or that sort of, that sort of thing. And each of these power sources has their own way of traversal through the environment and that sort of thing. Each has their advantages in terms of your getting you through the environment more quick, more or less quickly, but they all give you a traversal power. They all give you a, a different kind of attack tower with power with different presentation styles and that sort of thing. In the same way, Double Cross does things differently from other superhero RPGs by having a set of powers related to different sources of energy, such as light, or blood, or stone, and has them manifest in much less conventional power sets. So, for example, a character who draws their power from the Earth may certainly have powers that make them more durable to damage, much as characters like, for example, well, the Thing, who was basically a walking pile of stone. But there are other powers unrelated to that that go beyond what you would see Ben Grimm or other sort of brick-type characters um, or characters for that power set would use in a traditional combat situation. Part of what also makes me pick this game is that Double Cross is able to handle some of the more interesting narrative concepts, not so much interesting narrative concepts, but includes narrative concepts that carry over from the various infamous games, even if they don't follow Cole, in a mechanical way that lets you replicate those. For example, in the infamous games, um, each of the protagonists has a basically mundane human character who kind of helps keep them grounded in some form or another. Whether it's Zeke with Cole in the first two games, or Reggie, Reggie from Second Son, um, with that game's protagonist. In Double Cross, the game mechanic for these has a characters called Lois's, in honor of reporter Lois Lane, and they serve as mechanical purposes, helping to keep you grounded, to help you hold on to, to a certain degree, your humanity, because these powers come from a very sort of extra human source. There is also with the setting of the games has a certain degree of the powered people being feared and mistrusted, in some cases oppressed and used by society, which also comes up with the infamous games, especially infamous Second Son. So. It's not too hard to kind of make some adjustments to the setting to make things mesh if you want to use the world of the infamous games. The other thing of note with Double Cross is it is one of the few tabletop RPGs released in English that originally began, began its life as a Japanese tabletop RPG. Now, this does mean the game has a certain degree of eccentricity, not just in terms of oh, anime-inspired art, but in terms of one of the characters with lightning powers they are known as, for example, black dogs, because supposedly there is a thing in English mythology related to a black dog who's seen before lightning strikes come, but I wasn't really able to find much about that, or that sort of thing. It's weird sort of semi ingrishy bits where it doesn't quite fit, but hey, it's... I can cut them some slack. There's plenty of Western tabletop RPGs which borrow bits from Japan, which those bits don't quite mesh, like, for example, the game Legend of the Five Rings. So, there's that. Uh, Double Cross is available in print, and we found at local game stores near you. It can also be purchased as a PDF from DriveThruRPG.com. If you like the WWE 2K series, or the SmackDown series before that, you may like Wild World Wrestling. So last time I did one of these, I had kind of an oddball with Fight, the fighting game RPG. Well, here I have a pro wrestling RPG. In short, Wild World Wrestling basically lets you kind of run your promotion mode from SmackDown as a from the SmackDown games and the 2K games. It's sort of a collaborative RPG campaign. You create your belts, you create your wrestlers. Each player can controls a selection of wrestlers. Maybe they're all their one stable on their own. Maybe two players have some characters which are unstable, some characters which are feuding with each other. 
or a tag team and that sort of thing. And you run a wrestling promotion. Maybe your characters um, are the entire promotion. Maybe there are a few other additional wrestlers who are run by the GM as well. And together, the players basically put together cards for shows, build up feuds by having the wrestlers cut promos, by coming up with backstage vignettes in between the characters. And then the players run the matches, with one player each controlling one of the wrestlers. And the players who don't have wrestlers in a match can serve as as commentators, as managers, or as background participants in the match, including the crowd. This is actually a game where, honestly, you don't need a GM to play it. Um, you could just have all the players just roll up a bunch of wrestlers, and then just book the matches and run them on your own. Maybe some wrestler, some players have wrestlers that are their preferred wrestlers, and they're the ones who they run all the time because they have a particular character concept. Maybe some wrestlers are bounced in between players. There's really a lot of selection here, um, opportunity here for collaborative storytelling while still using a game system that's kind of inspired by the D20 system because it's an outgrowth of the old WWE Know Your Role RPG. But it's got enough sh uh, shifts to it where it works really well on its own. The publisher of the game has also put together a whole bunch of inexpensive PDFs based off of various pay-per-views by major promotions, with Fire Pro Wrestling level serial, num serial numbers filed off versions of major wrestlers. So if you do want to basically have your game be in the WWE, or uh, Impact Wrestling, or what have you, it's really not too hard to get these PDFs, which run like a couple, like a buck or two each. Um, look at the wrestlers, see, oh, it's this guy, and put the serial numbers back on and run them as their original characters, should you so desire. Wild World Wrestling is available on PDF and print-on-demand, should you want a print copy, from drivethroughrpg.com, as are a whole bunch of those little source books that I mentioned earlier. So, that's it. Another five RPGs for another five video games or video game franchises. There are still a slew of other video games I could provide recommendations for in the future, from Mass Effect to Armored Core to numerous other series. However, that is a matter for a later show. And that is a show which will come at some point in the future. Thank you. So, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like, subscribe, and share the episode. And if you have some money to spare, please toss me a few bucks, either through my PayPal tip jar or by packing me on Patreon. Backing me on Patreon will help me put the show out more often and cover improvements to my equipment. Additionally, one of the layers of support or levels of support for my Patreon is the ability to request an episode. So if you want me to put another one of these episodes out sooner, go ahead and toss me some money um, at that support level, and you may get one of these episodes, one of these episodes, earlier than two years. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.